Why did you say Why that? did I start doing that? Because Brandon brought it, brought it back to me from a dude, and he was like, I couldn't stop the sweep. And I was oh. like, hey, I want to make it unstoppable, so uh, let's make it unstoppable. Gosh. McGraw Lake, North Carolina. Yeah. There's some random black belt on an ATF tour I was on, and I was like, what? GFT dudes were lined up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and they lined up the, the room and had young black belt girls in Brazil, and this little shoots his legs at every angle. He collects both the legs, like he was like saying, it's pretty dope. I was like, hey, let's work on this. And now this whole situation is very annoying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, down half guard, it's same, same principle. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, some different grips that I'm doing to get both the legs. So here, same principle, I elevate and get to my half guard, right? I'm at this position now, okay? There'll be a, a few different things. Sometimes they'll be on their knees, sometimes they'll be on their foot. Um, either way, I found that the off balance is the way I'm collecting his knee, okay? The way I'm collecting this other leg, okay? So what I'm saying is, the reason why I like to hang on the tricep and like to really <clears throat> pull and get him off because I want that off balance with his legs in the air. That makes him light and able to be collected. So I'm here. No matter what I'm doing, I'm always trying to pull. That can be hard from this underhook around his hips. So what I've been doing lately to get there is changing my underhook from here to under his butt. Okay? So I went lower. This allows me to really pull him forward. Especially when I'm blocking that cross face, he feels like he has no post. Feels like he's got to put all his weight and he can't cross face me. This allows my free hand now to be able to go. Whoop. I'll go grab his leg and collect his other foot. Okay, so back up. We're here at this position. Okay, even, I'm even, even if I let go of the wizard right there, I'm like utterly committed to the wizard in my face, right? So even if I go on my second hand, his pull is so strong that I'm posted really strong. Yeah, I'm, I'm forcing both of his hands to the mat. I'm here, this can be hard, right? I can get him sometimes. But when I go under his butt, I can lift him to his hands. He's gotta stay committed. I'm able to grab his other leg now. Okay, I'll just trace his chin and I'll go and get it. Now I have both his legs. I just triangle my legs and I have both his feet. Same thing, okay? We can get up the same way, or we can take him over. I'm around his butt now. I really like this, and it's really easy to just cup the knee and go. <laughs> and take him over. When you push him over using his butt, is he bearing his weight down once you lift him what to do you his mean? hands? When, when you I, lift him to his hands, all he's got to do is pull me just a little bit with that hamstring under his hand like this. Yeah, yeah I'm, all, I'm trying to get his hands on the hand. I can resist and sit like a rock, but this now means that Levi can get up if I just stay totally stagnant. You see what I'm saying? So like I'm caught in a conundrum. Okay. Yeah. So here can be hard. Under his butt, lift. His foot comes up, whether it's still on the mat or not, all his weight's on his hand. It's easy to go whoop and collect his other foot. If I want, I just come up. I like to grab his other knee and just bump him. <laughs> okay? If I wanna take him backwards, real easy, I just connect my hands and I'll take him backwards. Notice how I didn't let go of his legs though. I'm still in this triangle. Okay? Can I say one more For all the MMA guys, oh, this, like, oh, if, he's tight, if he's tight right here, Right? He's going to start posting and then we're going to get to the off. Oh, it's going to happen right away, right? And that's what Levi's going to search for. That's another reason why this this leg weave right here is so dominant. There's a bunch of jiu-jitsu stuff you can do to pass to the side, pass to the mat. But in MMA, this will hit me. And I'm like, geez, it's something in that part. And then it's going to be wow. And it's going to smash it. But for the MMA guys, that's why these are so good. I'm not really punching them from the top half. And then he's gonna beat me from the top. You know, my reaction's gonna be the post. So the whole key is to get him on his hands. I pull him forward, get him on his hands. Makes his leg light to do my footwork. Okay, started sitting back. I go under his ass, and I'm gonna bump and lift. Until he goes on his hands. Now I'll go grab his foot. Okay, really easy, just so you can see. I bring his leg in, no matter if I grab his at his knee, 
Or I grab it underneath. I like to go underneath the knee so I can grab it. Like get a knee bend. Right? That'll happen a lot. If I go out of out of top hand, it's still good though. So but I open real quick, I connect, and then I triangle. Now I got a knee. Does that make sense, guys? Huh? So you're grabbing that other leg. If he's on his, if he's on his foot, which a lot of times what will happen is they'll be on their foot here. They're not just going to be on their knees most of the time. With Garrett, so I see. It, you feel like you can knee cut too. Yeah. Oh, you, do, do I feel like you can knee cut? Yeah. No. No, I'm saying for me being on top. I, I'm tempted to knee cut, but it's a bad choice. Yeah, but he's got his elbow. Yeah, right my right elbow is looking saying. for this knee. Yeah, I don't want to do it. So for some of you other guys, look, I if his elbow's not it. there, and it's talking about me trying to slide out and do that. Correct. So I, I don't have that with his bottom arm over my knee like that. He's doing a slight, t there's a tension here. Doesn't mean you're like, bro, I'm so saying, too. I think you're more often than not going to be. Yeah, on the foot. foot. Yeah, on the foot, yes. Well, I'll, I've even played like this with Levi and sat back. That's what I'm and saying. He'll just do right. that to me. Yeah, that's like, what I'm trying. I can't stop it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I've tried to totally do this. And I can't just stay into this. And then one last thing that we didn't talk about, though, is with his underhook at my hip, I have more opportunities for Darcy's and stuff like that. I have an easier pummel. Like, here I don't. The only difference with this is, depending on your angle, if you get turned, is this becomes an easier key more of it for people that are going to bully you. But we've not lost the knee position. Yeah, that's why uh, it's hello. the knee position. Okay. This, this foot is more like this. You feel what I'm saying? And he's so strong about it right here. So the overhook of this leg, the lowness of this depends on the, the chokes. And so he can literally just toy with my balance. And I can't really do nothing with either one of them. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you end up right. And then see how I naturally already said no. I'd rather try and do this, but he's got my kids, and then he's going to punch it. So, what I'm using is getting low on the butt to get a bump, and I'm trying to make him go like this, whether he kicks his wizard out or not. If he does, it's really easy to just pop to the back. I'm doing that a lot too. But if they don't, they keep their wizard, collect the other foot, and then take them where you want. Does that make sense? Let's get it. Ready, break.